So guys, I took a break from the hardcore stimulants and I have a channel update. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I feel like I've been wanting to make this video for about two weeks now, but I've had just one thing after the other stop me, causing me problems, but thankfully everything should be smooth, at least temporarily, and we should have no more hiccups and I should be able to pump out lots of videos. But I kind of wanted to let you guys a little bit behind the curtain about what's been going on with me. So about two weeks ago or so, I kind of went into this supplement psychosis. I was taking way too many things and I'm I'm not really exactly sure what put me over the edge, but I just felt really bad, really terrible, really anxious, really sick, and I knew I just needed a big break from everything. So I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with my channel, but I have not posted that much in the last two weeks. So I got sick with the supplement thing. I knew I needed a break from everything. Totally fine. I wish I hadn't got myself to this point, but it is what it is. I'll just completely back off so I don't really have this problem very often, hopefully not ever again. While that was going on, I had a lot of turbulence at my work at the very same time my hours changed so many extra things got added to my job site and I was kind of on the fence of do I want to go somewhere else do I want to stay where I'm at right now and on top of that to be honest guys my car barely works I can only go you know maybe five to ten miles away and the site that I work at is pretty close to where I live so if I were to have to find another site it would be extremely difficult because I do not have a car to get there and then if I'm unable to work, then I pretty much can't shoot videos because I got to have income coming in first and foremost. I actually felt really good about my YouTube recently. Now it's not where I want it to be. It's not the level of success to where I could say quit my job. I'm not there yet, but things were going great. And I loved making videos. I loved my current schedule. I feel like I'm just getting better and better with every video. So to be so far away from being able to just go on my own and do YouTube and then getting sick and then like possibly losing my job and having all this turbulence. I mean, it was just a wild ride. And to be honest, guys, I really want to get a place where I can have a room to shoot videos. Every time that I have tried to shoot videos where I live or amongst people, it just never works. I like to be by myself. So I kind of have an arrangement now where I could come to a place and be myself and shoot videos. So I kind of want to focus more on finding a spot to shoot videos in the place that I live in so that way there's not that extra turbulence like even if I have to switch jobs I can just shoot videos whenever I want and I even wanted to shoot videos like three or four days ago but because I don't shoot videos at my house I had to wait these three or four days so to be honest guys it was just a really big mix-up but thankfully it opened my eyes to a lot of the problems that could come in the future while basically giving me everything that I need to continue working and shoot videos at the same time. Thankfully, we should be pretty good from here. We shouldn't have too much turbulence. So as far as the stimulants I'm taking a break from, nothing really that I advertise too much on this channel. Now, I did get stuck vaping about, I don't know, maybe November of last year. So I've been vaping pretty solidly for about three to four months, which nicotine boosts your dopamine extremely high and I was having all these extra side effects. I was feeling very burnt out. I actually might do a video about my recent experience with nicotine because I just noticed so many negatives once you get addicted to it, but there are some temporary nootropic benefits that I find with nicotine. I think that was making me feel burnt out. And also when I would shoot my videos, I would look back and I would make so many mistakes with the nicotine. It makes me like a little jittery, anxious. You kind of need it to feel normal once you're addicted to it, but it was actually hindering my videos. And it was also probably hindering my supplement reviews as well, because most of the supplements are gonna be much milder than nicotine. Nicotine is a very potent, strong, feel good kind of chemical. I really wasn't taking a lot of the weaker nootropics, especially probably because I couldn't feel them. And even the other ones like amp citrate and these other ones, like I probably don't have the best description of them if I'm vaping nicotine all the time because I'm just always zapping my dopamine and it's going to be a more efficient dopamine release than pretty much any of the chemicals. And, you know, at the same time, I also cut off my Adderall use. Now I was using it about once a week and, you know, things were getting stressful. I, I was loving shooting videos. I was kind of just doing it whenever I felt recharged. So instead of waiting a full week, I would usually use it about twice a week and maybe even up to three times a week. And that was just a little bit too much for me. 
And to be honest, guys, I've been using the Adderall on and off for about two years now, and I don't really think that was the main culprit. Now, it's an extreme chemical. It has a lot of pros and a lot of cons. I understand that, but I had a pretty good understanding of how it worked, and it didn't make me really sick. It was actually surprisingly manageable, and I will probably dip a toe back into that when I feel it's the right time, while also being very cautious of not getting to that point where I was supplementing sick because guys I felt sick for like three four five days and I was trying this research chemical benzodiazepine which probably you know contributed to a lot of things I almost wanted to do a review on that one but um, I'm not even sure if it was the actual chemical that I bought online. I don't know if it's something else. I made you a review on that benzodiazepine. I forget the name. I'll try to put it on screen. So anyways, guys, I ran into a wall with supplements, with stimulants. I'm taking a break now. I'm kind of getting over my break at this point. So if you look at my channel, I haven't posted much for the last two weeks. So I'm slowly inching into it. For me, I'm not going to vape nicotine continuously, probably ever again. I always get myself to this point, but there's just so many negatives. It's so much harder to get motivation and follow through with work and be engaged in conversations that I just don't think I'll ever use it. Right now I'm dipping a toe into some mild nootropic mixes and some milder stimulants like area gerinesis. I will be reviewing those very soon, but just wanted to give you guys an update on why I wasn't posting as much recently. There should be lots of videos flowing out right now. And although it was kind of a rough time in my life, I also feel like it really opened my mind up to what I need to do. I need to get a car. I need to find a place where I could shoot at the place that I live in. At the same time, while showing me that, I got everything that I needed to continue to shoot and to continue things at the pace that I am now, which I actually like. Anyways, guys, I just want to do an update onto the Real Josh TV channel, where we're at now, and my stimulant break, but I'm slowly dipping a toe back in, and I'm still taking things like caffeine and milder stimulants, but just all the strong stuff, no nicotine. I'm really taking a break, and I actually think it's going to make my videos better and my supplement reviews better, nootropic reviews, all those. I just feel better all the time without any of this stuff, and I feel like I'll be more sensitive to the effects of those milder milder stimulants slash nootropics. So thank you guys so much for watching this update video. I appreciate you guys so, so much. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.